Hey there guys, welcome back to short break and uh, I usually tell everyone to get a Snapdragon as it's the fastest and best processor to use on a smartphone. The main competitor for Snapdragon was always the MediaTek Helio P series chipsets, not because they're faster in any way, it's because they low prices. So MediaTek is never in the game of processor until a few months back where in January at the Oil World Conference they announced the new Helio P60 chipset which promises to be quite powerful. This competes with the Snapdragon 660 which already came out and we can see that in almost a couple of devices. So before going into the comparison, let's take a look on the four important things to know about the P60. But let me just follow the intro. First things first. The P60 is an octa-core chipset with four powerful Cortex A73 cores and efficient A53 cores clocked at 2.0 GHz. It also integrates an ARM Mali G72 MP3 GPU, which is also found in some high-end flagships, and they are dedicated AI processing unit. The biggest thing about this processor is that this chipset is made with a 12 nanometer technology. That is interesting note because the com the competition is 660, 636, everything are built in the 14 nanometer process. Moving on, the first thing this chipset focuses more is on AI and intelligence. Come on, both the same. It comes with a multi-core AI processing unit, which they like to call as mobile APU, which offers deep learning, facial recognition, object and scene identification. So this helps them to bring face ID and uh, the other camera modifications to do in their devices. And the APU offers double the power efficiency of the GPU for battery friendly AI processing. Next up the camera and we here we can have up to 16 plus 24 mm dual camera setup or 32 mm single camera setup. We are also getting upgraded multi frame noise reduction and you also get the features like bokeh and depth of field with hardware depth engine and everything. Of course you can expect from mid range device these days. And it all it has as it is powered by a powerful processor and GPU you are getting face detection and intelligence detection for your photography skills. Now you also get real-time HDR which will help to shoot better pictures. Uh, next big thing is the dual 4G VLTE. Most of the devices today, including the flagships, does not offer dual 4G VLTE support. And dual 4G VLTE is where you can use both the Samsung 4G mode without needing to switch from SIM 1 to SIM 2. With all those power, AI and GPU, we will expect great performance efficiency. And the P60 Jelly was on that front. The P60 can keep your device running smooth and cool at reliably fast for heavy gaming, video or multitasking. With the four big Cortex A73 processors, the chip packs a powerful punch to meet all the processing demands and yet it has an efficient 4A53 cores which can help you in saving your battery life. As of now, the Oppo F7 comes with the MediaTek Helio P60 under the hood. I don't believe in benchmarks, but the Helio P60 scores marginally better in Geekbench single core score and by a large margin in multi score performance. And Arduino was considered the better GPU than the Mali's for a long time, but this time around the P60 scores a lot better than the competition 635. The MediaTek P60 promises to be a really better mid range chip on paper at least. But the total ability of the chipset can only be found with real world performance or things may change with the software and hardware thing. So the Oppo F7 is the only smartphone to come with the P60 followed by Oppo's sub-brand Realme which will launch the Realme 1 in India very soon. So that will take some time to get hands on and check the device's performance, battery and everything. So until then. This is Yuan signing off. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and see you in my next one. Peace.